God, I thank you so much for the law officers in our town and our community, for all they do to keep us safe. Lord, I pray that today they feel loved and appreciated because we do. Lord, I pray that you'll keep them safe as they perform their duties. Thank you for Doug and the vision that you've given him. Thank you for the other leaders in our community. Thank you for this time to be together. And we praise you as our Lord and Savior. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. This is for National Night Out, which I've been doing uh, for close to 25 years. Basically, National Night Out is, is for the individual citizens to get to know their individual police officers because the only time they see them is when they have to get a ticket or the house gets broke into, which is not a good time to meet friends. And this is just a fun way to introduce, I do something different every year to uh, uh, bring attention to crime prevention because you do something, it's sort of like the old thing, uh, uh, dog bites man doesn't make a, a story, but a man bite dog does. So we do something unusual to, to bring people out, and once they meet their, their, their individual officers, they get to learn that they're, they're just like them. And we were very, very nice that, that, that Rainbow Farms and Ms. Nosser uh, brought Mr. Ed out. And uh, we're, we're, we're very happy to do that. And we do this once a year, and I'll do this as long as I'm around. I started doing this in 1995 and so I've been doing it close to 20 years and we do something different every year and the idea is to meet your individual police officer. The only time you meet them is when you get a traffic ticket or your house gets broken into and that is not a good time for social interaction. This is so the community can get out and see that they're, we're just like you are. Well, sort of. Uh, but anyway, that's what it's basically about. And I did, did it the, the first uh, 20 years with the uh, city. And then uh, Sheriff Pace asked me if I'd take it over. And for the last six, seven years, he's been very, very accommodating. Anything I want to do, he pretty well lets me do, except he doesn't pay me for it. But uh, uh, he, is, he has been very accommodating and uh, we couldn't ask for a better sheriff than Sheriff Pace and uh, uh, this horse would make me. Last time I rode a horse was up at the state of penitentiary at Parchman. They tricked me to get on it and it followed the bloodhounds and I thought I was going to die. So uh, I, I don't ride horses anymore. But in, in, any one of the, you, you that are in it, we're going get, to get the sheriff on here in a minute and uh, uh, th 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 this horse is a very nice and calm. It's not like the one they have up at Parchman. But I think you'll have a real good time. That's what this is about. So the individual community knows that uh, the policemen are there to help them, not to, to hinder them. And we have, we have a lot of a lot of dignitaries and guests here from uh, when I first started. Mayor Leviza, that they na named the building after him, and he's still alive. So uh, and, 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 and then our county attorney, and that I can see, and the national park, and. Uh, uh, the judge here, who's uh, who, who's always come out, I think she thinks we're going to feed easy, but uh, she's always she's always always come out. And on this side, we ha have officers that have always showed out in in come. The Department uh, of Transportation has always come, and uh, we're very very uh, thankful of all of them. And uh, now uh, this horse is sort of shaking, and I am too. So uh, let, let me let me hand it over. Uh, if you hold this, let me get off and let the sheriff. Get how do you get all this thing? Pull that down on the dirt. I got it. All right, you're going to lift your leg over. That's not how you're supposed to get off. That's not exactly. Now, you better not photograph this. <laughs> they wouldn't think of it. Now, I know I know everybody likes the ground. <laughs> okay, sure. Should I should I do this from the from the horse? <laughs> All right, I'll I'll do that and then the mayor will be next. <laughs> yeah, the the mayor will be next. That's right. The mayor will be next at this. On a serious note, appreciate everybody coming out here today. Doug goes out of his way every year to do something zany to get everyone's attention uh, for crime prevention. 
uh, as is evident by all the agencies that are here, the, the agencies that are represented, he's, uh, he's touched a lot of people. We have, just to, to say a few, we've got Clinton Police Department, we have uh, the Sheriff of Claiborne County, our District Attorney, uh, Mississippi Highway Patrol, Mississippi Department of Transportation, of course the Vicksburg Police Department, Warren County Sheriff's Office, we have the Attorney General's Office represented, uh, and, and in various people from the community. That lets us know that he's touched a lot. We actually have a, a member of the, uh, the State Court of Appeals here and our Chancery Court judge here. So you have law enforcement as well as judicial represented, as well as the most important, and that's the citizens of this community uh, that we want to reach out to and, and talk to them about crime prevention, about relationships with their local law enforcement and how to improve that. If there's ever anything that your sheriff's department can do for you, we want you to call. I, I know that the Vicksburg Police Department uh, extends that, that same welcome and uh, you've got two agencies here in Vicksburg and Warren County that work very well together uh, on a daily basis and, and that's uh, for the benefit of the community and to the detriment of the criminal element. Uh, I'd like right now to, to hand this off to Chief Armstrong if he has a few words to say and whether you want to get on the horse or not is up to you. Negative. Again, I just want to thank everyone for coming out. Uh, this shows how united we are and that's what it takes to combat crime in our community. And I want to encourage the citizens of Vicksburg, Warren County that on the 7th of October, which is next week, uh, we'll be celebrating our National Night Out. There will be several block parties uh, throughout this city. Uh, we want to encourage uh, all citizens to get involved. Uh, this is the way we stamp out uh, crime in our community. So once again, I just want to thank uh, retired police officer, Sergeant Doug Opp, uh, for his involvement and this National Night Out and all these different stunts that he had pulled over the last 20 plus years, uh, it actually have gotten a lot of attention, not only in Vicksburg, but nationwide. So again, thanks everyone for being united. Uh, we, we unite, we work together as one. Mayor Flashy, come yeah. on man. I'll help you out. Now when he gets on, he slaps the horse to the rear, right? <laughs> in here, so. There you go. Well, on behalf of the, the Mayor Board of Alderman, Alderman Michael Mayfield and Alderman Willis Thompson, we join in with uh, Doug Auckland. In fact, I think we ought to get Doug a round of applause. <laughs> Doug, has, Doug has committed himself to this. And uh, I think the theme is we're riding out crime in Vicksburg and in Warren County. And I want to join in with the police officers and all the officers and the law enforcement and those prosecutors and everybody that's involved to say that we are real serious in Vicksburg about uh, zero tolerance in crime and uh, riding out the crime in the city of Vicksburg. So again, we uh, want to raise the awareness and we thank everybody for coming. And we continue to ride out crime in Vicksburg. Not on the horse. While he's getting on, I'll just say my comments. I just want to thank everybody for being here. This is a wonderful thing that Doug does every year. I know we in the district attorney's office get to see daily the sacrifices that the law enforcement personnel of our community put out for the people of, the, of this community. And it's wonderful to see actions like this where the law enforcement can get the recognition that they, should, that they deserve. They, they put a lot of dedication and sacrifice a lot of their own, their own selves to protect the citizens of this community. Nights like National Night Out bring attention to that. And I just want to tell, tell everybody that people from the district attorney's office do appreciate what the law enforcement community does for our, for our citizens. I just want to wind, it, wind it up. The, the, the biggest hand goes to, to Mr. Ed here and uh, uh, Ms. Osher for, for, for donating the horse. And they always say horses and to steal the show, so I know uh, uh, 
who, who's the, the, the main star today and it's not me. So, uh, but I, I'm just glad we're, we're looking at this end of the horse and not that end. But uh, I want to thank you all for coming. And just like the sheriff said, the most important is you people, the citizens of Vicksburg that come out because we can't do anything without you. Uh, it, it, takes, it takes you phoning in, telling us to go. That, that's where what, what it is. We can't see and do anything without you helping the police and the sheriff's department. And we really, really appreciate it. And I thank you all for coming out and horsing around with me.